So uh, I'm, I'm Prasad. I'm working with ThoughtWorks uh, for the last six and a half years now and been a QA. Uh, prior to that, was with Persistent System, uh, again a Pune-based firm. Um, been always a QA, doing whatever comes the way. Functional has been my forte. Um, and particularly in ThoughtWorks, we, the role goes in more of a consultant sort of a side. And that's the reason being uh, aware of the best practices, able to tell people what the right thing are or what the problems are, raising concerns, is sort of our major work or could say bread runner. So today I'm uh, going to talk about uh, how a lot of us are doing automation. Can, can I have a raise of hand? How many of us do automations? Great, all of them. How many of us are PMs, project managers or tech leads or something like that? Great, great. Um, so I, I think in, in all of our career, right, a lot of times we get into a situation where either we have to start an automation for a legacy system or we have to take a legacy automation and then go ahead. Uh, and we always come across problems and uh, then we apply either hacks or either our historical whatever solutions we know. Uh, I, I think uh, they, they save us. Uh, they, they do help us for some time. However, on a longer run, uh, they do fail. And at least from my experience, uh, yes, I have seen such problems within our projects as well. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about is uh, trying to say, put my case study ahead and also say what are the type of thought process which I have kept in mind and which has helped us to build a scalable product in terms of automation. I wanted to know from you guys, uh, is there anything else expectation from it? Uh, what do you want to listen? I can see if I can manage that or I can park it out. Anyone? From this, what, what when, they, when you're here, what are you expecting? Something, right? Something, no? Blank slate, I can fill in anything? Great, uh, I'll take it as uh, golden silence as yes. Cool. So we had a raise of hands and we had a lot of people say why we automate, right? Um, they do automate. So anyone can tell me why we automate right now in any of our project, why we choose the path of automation. I think we have heard enough in the morning, but someone who can give me, sorry? Perfect, maybe, uh, not boring for everyone maybe, but yes. Reduce time, save time. Stop doing the redundant work. Faster feedback, right. Right now we have heard uh, terminologies like continuous integration and all, and a lot of us going into that mode of building automation, right? We need to run those tests. I think. 